Yeah, so we haul about 400 loads a year or so. Um, wait, hold on. Do you hear something? It's coming from in here. It's like a weasel or something. Hold on. I've been confronted uh, mainly by my dad about some of the content in my first couple videos. You know, he's like, you know, Eric, why are you promoting the soda beverage industry when, you know, we're trying to sell milk? You know what, dad, you know, you're right. And just to show that I'm a changed man, uh, I actually have some milk here. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it's like to drink milk and uh, how good it really is. So here we go. Wow. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, you know, which do I like better, the blue or the red or the green, you know? And that's that's actually a complex question. I mean, you know, on one hand, I... oh. Oh. oh, yes. Oh. Ice cold. I just wanted to mention for a second, don't expect me to find a soda in every video. You know, it's not like these things just drop out of the sky or anything. Thing like, oh, that thing. Uh, just drop out of the sky or anything. Uh, I mean, come on. Uh, things just drop out of the sky or anything. Uh, it's sore to catch it. All I need yet is an ice cold beverage. What is this? Rather than mold. Uh, whoa. Found one right here. I guess what happens is as it ferments, the corn, some of the sugars kind of work to one place. And that's what you call high fructose corn syrup. Right here. You know what all this liquid manure gets me in the mood for? A nice cold beverage. What is this? There's only one thing I know to do with a Sprite. Get that garbage out of here. I don't know about any of you, but I'm pretty disappointed that we don't have March Madness right now to watch. So, don't worry, I got you guys' backs. I'll provide you with some basketball you can watch. Now one of the big selling points on this spreader for me uh, is this little tube right here. And look at this. Take your beverage of choice. Look at that, fits right on in there. Now I did find some papers in here when I opened this up. Don't need them, threw them away. But that's convenient right there. Put the cap on. And I find that during the winter time, it'll keep a drink ice cold. All right, so I'm still working at home in or Just stopped in the shop here to do a quick job here in the fridge. Um, I try to only drink one soda a day, so I really don't drink that many sodas. Just one a day. So, all right, let's get going. I was scraping this out here and I saw something floating in the manure. I got plenty more in the fridge. I came out here to close up this pit and I'm starting to regret my decision a little bit. Hate to see a perfectly good Pepsi go to waste. All right, got the barns cleaned out. Just gotta do something with this yet.
Good as new, kind of. I don't know if I'd quite trust drinking this thing, but you know what they say, what you don't know can't hurt you. Hey Dad, I brought you a Pepsi. Thank you. No problem. I'm about done for the day. I still have this soda yet. Uh, Dad didn't really want to drink it when he heard what I did with it, and it still smells a little bit like manure. <laughs> so, I thought maybe we'd get some value if I throw it off the top of the silo on the pavement. It might be kind of cool. Let's see what happens. You didn't bring me one? Well, I wasn't sure if you had one already. Yeah. I'll go get you. one for Nelson. It's the perfect beverage for our hard work. <laughs> we work for like 15 minutes. So the more weight we can get on that bunk, the better. Lately, I've been eating more food, drinking more soda, whatever I can do to help the farm. So I sacrifice every day, try and drink at least a couple sodas. So the next thing I'm gonna work at now is taking this shovel, scoop some wood shavings, and carry it over. We're gonna put it in here, spread it out on the floor. I like to use the shovel just because by hand it'd be harder just to pick up as much in like per trip. So 